Hello and welcome to a new video. I'm going to give you an update on the whole G16e GTS, the thing where the engines are failing on the first gen uh, Toyota Corolla and uh, Yaris GR cars, which happened a few times now to say the least. And we now know, or rather thanks to your comments, I have to thank a lot of you guys for bringing that to my attention. Not only that, and also other people such as AJ Club Sport, GR Experience coming out with their testing and also ACME Racing who told me they had 250 GR Corolla engines or GR Yaris engines or in general G16 engines to test and look at what exactly the cause of these engine damages are. So we now know the reason behind those failures. The issue is that with first generation G16 engines, such as I explained in my first video, the engines were experiencing pre-ignition or rather mega detonations as some people say. It's basically kind of the same thing and it is caused by oil blow-by through the piston rings. So that means when the engine operates due to the three-cylinder engine being a uh, engine that is has kind of a long time between ignitions and also having a relatively long stroke, there's a lot of time for gas combined with oil particulates to enter the combustion chamber through the piston rings. That combined with the issue that the piston ring gaps tend to be on the wider side and therefore letting through more of that gas, these oil particulates enter the combustion chamber and therefore cause pre-ignition or mega detonation as some people say, which is a much more extreme form of knock and that causes the pistons to shatter and also then the rods punching holes through the block because if there's no piston to guide the rod well it's just going to go everywhere what aj club sport and others recommend is using special oils that prevent pre-ignition so they have a specification that prevents these issues to a point. While yes, there always can be a situation where that will happen, that oil reduces that risk. And also probably a best idea would be if you are concerned about your engine uh, to get a set of forged pistons or if you're in there anyway, a set of forged rods and pistons in combination. That just makes the engine a whole lot safer, especially if you try to tune it afterwards. It also doesn't have much to do with people modifying their engines, even on a stock engine, uh, like a stage one, stage two tune or something, that doesn't really matter, as it seems to be occurring on lower RPMs when the turbo just starts to spool, which makes sense because the time frame in which the engine is not experiencing combustion, there's a lot more time for the gases in the oil pan or in the crankcase to go through the piston ring gaps and enter the combustion chamber. So that kind of makes sense. There is where those issues are coming from. But again, for a detailed explanation, I recommend the AJ Club Sport GR Experience video on that topic. As for the second generation of en engines, that issue should have been figured out at least or tackled and uh, the piston ring gap issue should have been resolved. So people who are using facelift engines or gen two engines, they should be on the safe side of things. That's it from me for an update on that whole situation. I hope you aren't too paranoid that your engine will blow up and uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.